YouTube. Boss Man Picks coming back at you with another one. Coming off another solid day, two and one. I will take it, man. Like I say, we in the playoffs. Man, I've been looking around, man. It's been rough out here for a lot of people, man. But, hey, luckily me and Discord and some of the guys, who, some of the cappers in our group, hey, we still been getting it out the mud, baby. Playoffs. God damn it, regular season, preseason, it don't matter. We, we gonna get it. Rain, sleet, or snow. But yeah, man, like I say, we had a pretty solid day yesterday, two and one. I will take it, man. We had Donovan Mitchell over nine nine rebounds and assists. Man, he did his thing, man. I, I, I mess with Donovan Mitchell, man. Every time we call him on the channel, he, you know, he, he do what he supposed to do. I can't do nothing but salute it. Then we had Joel Embiid over 16 points. Like I say, that, that first half, it been a wagon, man. I'm going to continue to play it, too, if it's 16 and under. Now, when they get to 16 and a half, 17 and a half, I can't, can't mess with it. But, yeah, Joel did his thing. He went crazy, 50 ball. Then Franz, man, of course, when you pick that under, it always got to be somebody that want to clown and do some old stuff they ain't never did before, so... You know, I, I, I knew I should have stayed away from that because Magic was at home. I felt like they could explode, but, you know, I went by the data and yeah, the data lied to me. You know, I should have stick to my instincts. But 2-1, and one, I will take it, you know. But I did. We was able to redeem ourselves in, uh, in the thing, in the Discord. Man, called a banger for that late night hammer, man. Let y'all check it out. Yeah, Jokers, Reeves came through late night. Yeah, he got 22. He really had about 14. You know, all that was straight garbage time. AD did his thing. Spencer did his thing. Man, Lakers had a good season. This my team, man. Hey, they about to go and go to the crib, though, man. I salute y'all guys. Appreciate y'all, man. But, yeah, I just can't mess with the Nuggets, man. Very unfortunate draw. But hey, anyways, let's get back to these picks, y'all. My first pick of the day. Man, we rolling with the young goat, the baby goat. Y'all already know who I'm talking about, man. Mr. Luca Dunchit. And we rolling with the straight points. So we ain't finna get cute or nothing. And um, um as you can see, the last five is nothing special. Man, sorry about that, y'all. Man, allergies, boy. I got sneezing like crazy over here. But, yeah, this last five ain't nothing special, man. He done cleared it two of the last five. And let's look. Let's look at just this points. Okay, y'all, I'm back, man. Just a little, like I said, the allergies got to kick in my butt early this morning. But, yeah, we got the over on his points. It's negative 122, negative 118, negative 121. So, it is favorite to go over. They had the under all the way at negative 104, negative 102. So, I'm feeling good about this prop. We can look at the data. The data doesn't tell us really anything interesting. As you see, he's only did it three of the last ten. So, you know, the, the, the data usually would suggest that you don't go over. But I've been watching these games, man. Luca, Luca ain't even he, – he he hasn't even balled out yet. He's still been right there around the hook at 32-33. So, we need him to get 34 today. And like I say, he's had pretty much like – I say I give his C-plus game. So, you know, he back at the crib. The momentum is in their favor. I'm expecting Luka to have an A or B game. A or B game for Luka is knocking on 40 points. So, I'm expecting Luka to go over today, guys. Plain and simple. You know, it's the playoffs. I'm expecting him to do his thing, y'all.
But yeah, that's my first prop I'm rolling with, man. Sorry for all the interruptions, man. Like I say, the allergies kicking my butt this morning, y'all. Y'all had to bear with me. But yeah, that's the first prop I'm rolling with. Luca and over 33 and a half points. Like I say, that may be a bit bit stiff for a lot of you guys, but you know, I'm right here. I'm, I'm in Dallas. I've been peeping Luca's game all year. That's what the dude do. The dude get 35 in his sleep. Them first two games, they he 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 kind of been like Jalen Brunson being like, you know, he was missing a lot of shots he usually hit. So, you know, I, I expect that to open up and I expect them to have a real big game, like similar to Joel Embiid and Jalen Brunson yesterday, because, you know, that's just what he does. Now my second pick, I'ma roll with somebody in that same game, man. This one this one here could be a little scary too, but like I say, it's the playoffs, man. You can't just go off the data. You have to kind of Predict what teams are doing going forth. Like, you know, I ain't no future teller, but I'm just saying. These teams make adjustments and everything. So, looking at last game, it's, it's not pointless, but just a lot of things will change from game to game. No playoff games really marry each other. Except for maybe the Lakers and Nuggets. That's probably why I was able to hit last night. But that's, that's just a weird scenario. But other than that, these games will be way different. But, yeah, I'm rolling with Kawhi on the points. He just got back. You would never see his points this low. And I'm thinking he was just, you know, getting into the rhythm, getting into the groove of things last game. So, you you know, I gave him a game to pretty much get his feet wet. Now that his feet wet, he did play a full slate of 35 minutes. I'm feeling good that Kawhi will have a better game. Now, if you check it out, he has went over in six of the last ten, so that that is that's a pretty good hit rate. Also, twelve of the last twenty, so even a bigger sample size, the same hit rate. And against Dallas, he's pretty much went over this every game they play. One game he only had eight, but that was a major blowout. Uh, he had 18. That was a long time ago. So, yeah, he's cleared this 4-7. In the game back in December, he had 30. So, you know, 22 shouldn't be an issue for him. Like I say, this was a this was a very uncharacteristic game between both teams, 96-93. I don't see the score being that low for no games in the rest of this series. So, you know, that's how I'm feeling. Uh, the right Dallas' defense, they had got a little better, but they're still 20th in points allowed. So, you know, that that's very good for Kawhi. Middle of the road against small forwards. And 22 versus power forward, which Kawhi, he, he's a small forward, but they may slot him over at the four foot, you know, for a minute. So, yeah, like I say, man, if you want to fade these plays, I definitely understand you because, but, like, these plays are – these. This one I'm feeling going to hit. I, you know, I think Luka and Kawhi go crazy tonight. Now, my third play. Yeah, my third play, man. A lot of y'all may want to stay away from it because it's another less than. But, you know, I'm, feel, I'm feeling real good about it. And my third play, I'm going to roll with Leonard. And we're going to roll with less than his rebounds and assists. Now, as you can see, he's only cleared it once in the last four games. And he actually, you you, you would think without Giannis, maybe this number gets better, but it, it doesn't, you know, cause, which makes sense because he gets a lot of his assists just, you know, throwing it to Giannis and Giannis would take a couple of dribbles and dunk it. Like, easy money, you know, so... Well, yeah, without Yannis out, them shooters going to actually have to knock down shots for him to get assists. And then he just hasn't, he's been on the perimeter, so he hasn't been getting many rebounds lately as well. But, you know, let's see what Vegas has to say about this. Okay, so yeah, it's heavily favored our way under 11 and a half rebounds and assists. Some books have it at negative 132. Other books have it at negative 120, negative 123. Let's see what they have to over it, y'all. 
Yeah, they had an over all the way at plus money, plus 104, plus 100, and what book has it at negative 111. So, you know, Vegas is rocking with us, you know, going our way, going under. And like I say, this may be a bit scary for you, but, yeah, Dame just has not been getting this done. He's only went over three of the last ten games and only one of the last five. And I see head-to-head. Head-to-head, he's only went over – Two out of six games. So, it, you know, the hit rate looks great, y'all. It looks real good. And the the Pacers are very tough against defending against assists. So, you know, they'll be on Dame. They'll let us do his thing. But they'll, they'll probably try to force him to get to the cup or something. Just force him to shoot the ball, though. More is where they got him passing or whatnot. They tough against, against the pass. So, you know, Dame likes to shoot anyway. So, that's, that's all in our favor, you know, because – a lot of times, they ain't get that ball. He's just going to dribble, dribble, step back, shoot. You feel me? So, yeah, I'm feeling real good about this prop. You know, even if he if he does get the assist, he may won't get the rebounds. But they have his assist heavily favored under. So, you know, hopefully hopefully Vegas is right, man. And we can, we can ride their way with that. But, yeah, man, like I say, I always say, man, I appreciate all the love and support y'all been giving me, man, for real, man. We we back picking up, man. We've been back on a bit of a, a hot streak, you feel me? Well, we is about 4-1 over the past two days, so, you know, everything good. Plus, I, we, late night him in the Discord. Discord been going crazy, actually, though. But, yeah, man, good luck to y'all, man, boss man picks. I'm out.